So, um, how long have you been writing? Since I was 12 years old. 12? This is, yep, this is literally what I was born to do. And I couldn't really see myself doing anything else. It's a passion, huh? Definitely. My name is Latira R. Williams, and these are my reflections. I fell in love with writing at age 12 and married it at 18. I was always encouraged to live my dream so I continue to expose what's deep beneath me. Started my own company at age 24 and at age 26 I'm pushing for more. By 30 I'll be worthy of best selling author praise. At 50 I'll be reflecting on my old school days. If I make it to 60, I'll still be 50 with my pen and pad with me, writing out my life mysteries and reminiscing about how I made history. Yeah, I'll make a difference all right. Even when I experience discouraging days and nights, I'll hold on to the range of change that I plan to ignite. And if someone decides to award me for my Improve the World fight, I'll gladly accept the honor and step in front of the mic. Tell my readers thank you for following me on this flight. Spread my wings, soar to unbelievable heights, and continue to share my words of encouraging might. When my life is finally over, I want others to be able to say, she did all that she could to make this space a better place. If my paper should ever ruffle or my tools run out of ink, my stories will refuse to sink, remaining firmly and eternally linked to those who took the time to read and understand my metaphoric kinks. I wear the title of writer proudly, it's more than just a name. I'm a dignified dame, leaving a trace as a leader of grace. The creative chick could use this language to put a smile on someone's face. At 87, I'll still be riding my way to heaven. And when I finally make it through those gates, I'll reminisce on the year 1986, the 23rd day of the 11th month, and carve my name on the golden fronts as a symbol of the gift that I was given once upon a time. And when the sun shines to the left of the light, you'll find I write. I moved on from the past that I left my mess in to make room for an unlimited amount of blessings and ask God to let me use my words as weapons. So if mirrors are connections related to untainted inspections, my writing collection will birth a legacy of affection. And every strategically constructed lesson that I learned from my confessions will allow me to be remembered forever through my reflection. If you would like to help me kickstart my dream of becoming a best-selling author, please follow the link provided for more information. Your donation will assist me with printing, marketing, and traveling expenses for my novel, Dearly Beloved Sisters which is scheduled to be released this summer. Thank you so much for your support, and I hope I can inspire you to live your dreams.